Welcome back, everybody. It is time now to go in your business. I am joined this morning by Sunny Vinuya of the Asian Chamber of Commerce. Good morning, Sunny. Good morning, Alex. Thank you so much for having me. We're so happy to have you. Okay, so first, some really exciting news we told you about earlier this morning. There is a new Asian American and Pacific Islander Community Commission. There was about 15 people sworn in uh, yesterday. So what's the goal of this, Sunny? All right. So it's really an honor to be part of that. Uh, two goals. The first one is to do a study on the different uh, issues that each segment of the Asian community has. And then the second is to take a look on building an Asian cultural center. Okay, and what was the need for this commission? Why, why did you guys want to create this? Well, Asian, the Asian population here is the fastest growing. And one of the goals, that the, one of the things that will happen with this commission is really enhance uh, the relationship of all these different groups and how they work together. And that will just make it better in the future for us. How exciting. Yeah, it truly is. All right, we'll follow all those developments. Hopefully, a center will be coming oh, and yeah. some exciting things. Yeah. Okay, uh, another thing that's going on many local businesses are certified minority businesses. That's correct. What does that mean and why is that important? Well, the reason why it's important for minority businesses to be certified, it opens the door for them for different opportunities from McCarran, for example. A lot of the hotels, they need to be certified and able to be able to d get contracts from them. Uh, just recently, the reason why I brought this up, the NFL draft is coming next year, and they're higher and they're looking at local minority businesses to be part of it. You have to be certified. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's really neat. Uh, the Asian Chamber also has a big fundraiser coming up. That's Is it right. a golf tournament? It's a golf tournament. Okay. It's, it's our number one fundraiser for our scholarship. So every year we give out about 15 scholarships to 15 deserving Asian students. Hmm. This is our main fundraiser, the golf tournament. So it's it's exciting for us. It's the 21st year that we've been doing it. And is it college scholarship money or? Yeah, well, or? yes. So it's seniors from high school oh. going to college. It's not a lot, but it helps with their books, helps oh, with yeah. their expenses. Yeah. Every bit helps. And when oh, is yeah. that? Now that one is on. Uh, November 23rd at November Bears 23rd. Pass. November yes. 23rd. Okay, right there on your screen. And yes. that's open to the public? That's to open to the public to oh, attend. Great. Yes. Okay, course. so you have some time to prepare for that about a month away. Yes. Um, and then the last thing, Sunny, so business owners will soon get a really cool chance to meet with the governor's economic development team. Yes. What is going on there and how does that work? So that is for our October luncheon, October 24th. Uh, one of the one of the things that the governor wants is to make sure that all minority businesses are supported, which is great. So he's sending uh, Chris Sanchez, who is head of the GoEd, uh, Michael Brown, head of the Department of Business and Industry, and Dr. Tiffany, um, f head of Nevada and em Employment Department. Mm -hmm basically to meet with our business owners is to tell us what's going on, what's new, and how they can help. Well, and how important is that connection between local and our state? It's huge, basically. Just knowing what's going on, having that relationship with them, see how they can support us, that's really important for us. That's wonderful. All right, don't forget yes. that fundraiser coming up November 23rd yeah. supports our local students. Thank you so to much, get them to college. Thank you, yeah. Sunny, for coming All right, in. Of nice course. to see you. Thank you. All right.